excuse me for looking disgusting. <laughs> I just woke up and um, today is the last day of my weekend off. And so I've been having a very interesting weekend of self-reflection and um, just staying offline. I say that, but I'm all online with business and with, with you guys. Um, but one of the things that has been really important in this weekend for me is self-reflection. And as a coach who helps women get strong, lose weight, and find out how to get that freedom in their plan so that they do stop beating themselves up, so that they do feel like they have something that they can do long term. What I've been finding in this specific weekend of me trying to figure things out too from a perspective of how can I help more people? How can I get out there? How can I be there for you? And while I know how to do, to lose weight, to sustain my weight loss, and now after 20 years, that's become very easy for me. There, I think in every aspect of life, there are things that are very hard and that we need to ask for help for and be surrounded by people that support us. So for example, helping to grow this so I can reach more people, that's been something that I've been working on and struggling with. And what really resonated with me right now as I was sitting here journaling in my jammies <laughs> was that the path to anything that we want, whether it is weight loss whether it is um, growth in, in helping more people or um, you know, getting more participants in programs or um, you know, as an entrepreneur, working on entrepreneurial stuff. Um, the path at the beginning is always very hopeful, right? I mean, whether it is for me, it's hope that this system that I'm going to start following, this program that I'm going to start following is going to create systems in place that are going to help me find more of you, more people. They're going to help me grow. I'm, I'm feeling really hopeful about that. I'm going to do every step that it takes to do it. And that's really aligned with weight loss and, and fitness as well for many of the people that come to me because, you know, the beginning, they're like this new program. I've done it before. This is going to be different this time. I'm going to follow the steps and the motivation is high in the beginning. But as we keep on going with whatever that thing is that we want, there are certain things that we have to do that just have to blend into our life and we have to lather, rinse, repeat and continue to do it. So for example, for me, it's showing up, whether I look like this on social media or whether I've got makeup on and I'm doing a full workout plan. Um, for me, it is, it is making sure that I am connecting with you as much as I possibly can um, and meeting other, other experts that can also help you. So those are things that I work really hard on, but those are things that behind the scenes, it's, it's very lonely. It's, you know, it's, it's very much just write and, um, be in my room reflecting on, on how I can help and figuring out how to get out there and pushing that and pushing that and pushing that over and over again, over and over and over again. And it's the cycle. And what I find is this is the part that's hard also when it comes to weight loss and fitness because at the beginning there's hope at the beginning there's a new program and then in the middle life happens and there are certain things that have to just go on lather rinse repeat so for example for my clients just try and log your food if you can't log your food Try and work on, um, you know, what's on your plate, portion sizes, uh, where you can go if you have to eat out, if you're caught off guard, what to do if you if you can't do the full workout. These things are what motivates us to begin, but they're the things you have to just keep on working at for consistency to keep on working at in the middle. And I have to say that that's the hardest part because really it is not anything new 
It is the motivation is usually gone. And then the feelings start to come in like, is this actually going to work? And this happens in whatever part of the of life that you struggle with, whether it is weight loss or whether it is um, growth with finding more people in what you do or whether it is in learning how to ride a bike or whatever it is that you do, that part where you just have to keep on trying. You just have to keep on practicing. You just have to keep on working the program. And that's where people start to fall off track. And so I was thinking to myself, well, what is it that helps me keep on going because there are times when it's hard and what do I share with my clients when they're in that mundane when they're like yes lather rinse repeat it's got to be the same thing got to keep on working it what do you do so while this is not weight loss or fitness I think this advice still plays very much to it because it literally in anything in life it is this same process for getting results or goals or working towards things that at first at least are really hard for us right so the first thing i want to say is if you are on your your fitness and weight loss journey you're in the middle and it's starting to feel like is this ever going to work and you just have to keep on doing the same things over and over again to get the results One, keep on going. Keep on going because I promise that at that other side, there there are the results you want. You're going to feel much better. You know, you're going to go to the doctor. You're going to get better results from your doctor. You're going to feel stronger and that is going to come. And it doesn't hit you immediately the day that you start the program. It's a journey that you will realize over the course of of continuing to try to work in the steps even when life is happening. So keep on going. Number two, really surround yourself with people that are in the same situation as you and somebody who is also gone through that and is at a higher level of understanding of how the keep on going is going to work for you. So for example, the women in my program, when we have support seat meetings every week, they are sharing their struggles and they're very connected in hearing each other's wins and struggles because you have to be able to understand that you're not alone. I think that even when I'm doing the growth, I have a mastermind group, we meet, we meet bi-weekly and Um, really hearing where everyone is, it makes you feel like you're not alone in the journey, that there are other people that are doing the steps in the middle that can sometimes be difficult. So find a group that you can connect with and then also make sure that the expert in that group has knowledge to get you to that next level. So um, in my mastermind, I I had somebody who taught us the steps and what to keep on doing, what to keep on working and kept on reiterating what those steps were and how to get there and how to shift things if things weren't working and um, showed us what was possible or what is possible when you just keep on going. And it's the same thing with your fitness or your weight loss coach. Find a group, find a coach that you can trust their input on and a group that supports you. That's a big part of what you need to do. And so I just wanted to share this because I am not on my weight loss journey. I've already gotten my weight loss. And for me, it's been an over 20 years of sustaining it. I am an expert in this, but I think sometimes we need to, when as experts, we have to look at the overall picture and see how how this relates to what we still do and want to achieve and become empathetic towards those still going through the journey. Because after 20 years, it can be very easy for me to say, oh, you just do this and this and now it's easy. And <clears throat> I need to remind myself that it is still hard for those just starting and how that 
coincides or connects with other parts of our lives. So if you're going through the journey and you're just starting, I know sometimes once that motivation is done, the hope starts to go, um, but you're not alone. It's a part of the journey. You just have to keep on working the steps. You have to keep on pushing through, find that group to support you. And we got this. We got this. Okay. I think that's it.